Well, when some people are short on money, they get what's called a payday loan. One South Florida man was told he didn't pay back the loan. To prove he did, he called Help Me Howard with Patrick Frazier. Living paycheck to paycheck is common. Just as difficult, living Social Security check to Social Security check. You get them up and down moments where you got to pinch pennies. Lorenzo is retired. When he's short on money, his go-to place is the check cashing store to get what people call a payday loan. Some might come up with my car, I need $1,000. I go and try and borrow so I can get my car fixed right away. A few times a year, Lorenzo has to take out a loan at 10% every two weeks meaning it could be up to 260% interest per year. Lorenzo quickly pays it back as his Social Security checks come in. I always borrow about $1,000 and pay it off in two to three months. When he went to get his last loan, he was told no. They said to me, you can't get a loan because you got a loan already existing. Lorenzo was told he didn't pay back a $1,000 loan he got in 2022. <laughs> I laughed at him and told him, you got to be crazy. Lorenzo says it's crazy because since 2022, he's had several loans from the store. And in Florida, you can only have one payday loan at a time. If I owe them, I'll pay them. But I don't feel like I owe them. That old loan that Lorenzo says he paid off was for $1,000. If he doesn't straighten it out, he has to pay that plus interest. I owe $2,200. The check cashing store doesn't believe Lorenzo. They believe their computer that says he didn't pay off an old loan. If anybody can help me straighten this out, it would be Patrick and uh, Mr. Fingersign. Well, Howard, how can a person battle a big corporation? The interest on these payday loans is so outrageous, the legislature passed a law to protect customers by limiting borrowers to one payday loan at a time. The fact that Lorenzo got other loans is evidence he paid off the prior loan. And from a business standpoint, you don't loan money to someone who did not pay off a prior loan. Clearly, this is an accounting error. We looked at the ledger of Lorenzo's loan history. It shows he borrowed $1,000 in December 2022. Then, as he said, he paid it off in January, February, and March. The ledger then shows he had a zero balance. We contacted the check cashing store's corporate office. They investigated and wrote, we were able to help resolve the issue and appreciate you bringing the situation to our attention. They called me and said that I didn't owe them anything, and they apologized constantly over and over. Everything straightened out after his call to help me, Howard. I'm very happy I called Help Me Howard. And we're happy you called us, Lorenzo. Now that 10% payday loan rate for two weeks sounds okay, but make sure you can pay it back in two weeks because the rates soar after that. Also remember, if you can't pay it back, they can garnish your wages. So don't borrow more than you can quickly pay back. A problem blocking you from a payday? Want someone to take interest in it? Loan it to us so we can check into it for you for free. With this help me, Howard and Patrick Frazier, 7 News.